Hey, welcome back guys. We are going through another quick tutorial video for you. We're introducing you to the sandbag squat clean today. So we've got these sandbags that we've had at the gym for a while. We're able to get them fixed up so they don't leak so much and now we can use them inside, which would be great. So um, I actually have a video coming out, not a video, I'm sorry, an article coming out um, this week about the importance of odd object training or strongman training. Um, so be tuned into the blog for that. But for now, we're just gonna talk about how to do the sandbag squat clean. All right, guys, so um, you've got your sandbag. You want to have the setup with your, these two handles facing up. Um, you're going to have your feet about shoulder width. You're going to set up very similar to a deadlift. Hips are going to be a little higher. Back is flat, and you'll be holding onto the handles. From there, big hip extension, just like a sumo deadlift high pole or just like a regular deadlift, at which point you've really got to actively flip your elbows down low and underneath, and you're actually going to catch the sandbag in the crook of your elbows or kind of on your biceps. I'm going to try to do this without knocking my mic out. So I'm going to set up here, back is flat, pulling from the floor with straight arms, catching in that crook of the elbow, and then going into a front squat. Okay? So if you're having a little trouble with it or if you've never really worked with odd objects before, simple progression for you would just be to do a power clean and then a front squat. <clears throat> I don't know if that was covered up. Power clean, then a front squat. Um, so pretty simple and straightforward, at least in concept. Um, once you get playing around with these things, you're going to feel how these odd objects can really work different muscle groups on you. Sandbag squat clean. Thanks.